shimmering light Rest my head on my pillowcase again Talk me through one more night Pull my sheets over my head and plug me in Go live, I'm telling myself it's just five more minutes I'm feeling my eyes Get heavy again, but we won't sleep. No, we won't sleep. Keep me up till 4 a.m. I'll stay up for you. Keep me wrapped up in my phone. Internal deja vu. Cause with the audio visual, it's something additional. I hear and see your point of view. Keep me up till 4 second with you is another minute another night you get me through i'll stay with you until the dawn until the dawn live i'm telling myself it's just five more minutes i'm feeling my eyes get heavy again but we won't sleep no we won't sleep keep me up till 4 a.m i'll stay up shimmering light rest my head on my pillowcase again talk me through one more night pull my sheets over my head and plug me in go live i'm telling myself it's just five more minutes i'm feeling my eyes Get heavy again, but we won't sleep. No, we won't sleep. Keep me up till 4 a.m. I'll stay up for you. Keep me wrapped up in my phone. Internal deja vu. Cause with the audio visual, it's something additional. I hear and see your point of view. No, we won't sleep. No, we won't sleep.
we won't sleep Keep me up till 4 a.m. I'll stay up for you Keep me wrapped up in my phone Internal deja vu Cause with the audio visual It's something additional I hear and see your point of view Keep me up till 4 a.m. I'll stay up for you Say, say I'll stay awake And watch these restless nights Red is the ad break finishes too. I could not have timed that better if I tried. So let's get the music going. Welcome everybody in. Neko, how are you doing? Hello. I I hope this works. <laughs> I hope the drops works. It popped up earlier with the um the sub one, because there's actually two of them. I can go into that in a second. Doing well? I'm doing well as well. I got home about an hour and a half ago from work. Work was pretty nice today. And then, yeah, I'm, I'm one, I'm excited to dig out this tunnel. But two, I'm just really excited to get this cape, so I hope everybody else can get the cape too. So let's move over to just chatting. I don't think that first part of the sentence was words. I <laughs> I don't know what that was. Also, it's frozen. Which is a great sign. Oh. Oh, am I back? Am I alive? Streamlabs, all I did was switch. Why, why did we shoot down to 54 kilobytes? That's like 4,000 less than it should be. What just happened? I would like to preface this by saying there is nobody else in my home right now, which means there is not even like band. There should be bandwidth issues. But you know what? Um, we we stick through it. I'm I'm gonna pull it up on my phone so I can see what's going on. It has completely. Oh, it's it's working. Sort of half and half. A bit of scuff. Yep, we got we gotta have just um gotta have a got it. We have to do this every stream. <laughs> every stream we have that like ten minutes of everything breaking right at the beginning, and then it fixes itself. It's very awesome. I do not know why it does this. I believe it. There's a few bits in your internet. Thank you. Oh, wait, everybody, hold on. Hold on. I think I think I can do stuff again. I think we're free. I think, I think it's okay. So it's probably gonna do this again when I try to switch over to mainstream, which I am not looking forward to. But it is Friday. 
which is awesome. It's a 17th. Today is actually Minecraft's 15th birthday, which is nuts. This game has been around for like forever. Even me, like a 20 year old. This game came out when I was five. Just to put that in perspective, it's been around for as long as I've been able to remember things. I've been playing this game for half of its lifespan. Just straight up. Straight up playing longer. I've been playing this game for over half, over half of the length it's been out. Which is nuts. Did you claim the 15th? Yes, I did. And, and I also... I also claimed the TikTok game. I haven't seen it pop up in the launcher yet, but I claimed it. So all the last one I need is this Twitch cape, and I want to help as many people as I can get it. Raven, I hope you have a safe trip home. I hope you're able to bro, relax and de-stress as much as you can when you get home. Please do not feel like you have to stay here. It is okay to go and just zone out completely tonight. Don't, don't even worry about it. So, um, with stream now just barely managing, just chatting, let's move over to mainstream and see if this doesn't crash. Streamlabs. Because it might. And that wouldn't be fun. <laughs> Oh, so now there's no problem. What in the world is wrong with just chatting? Why is just chatting? Why does it cause such an issue? There's nothing different about just chatting. In fact, just chatting should be easier to load than me. Okay, you know what? I give up. I give up. It works, and that is all I need. It's over for me. Yes, it is. I I don't even disagree with you. So let's I'm actually gonna get a message typed up. For Damon here to clean the Twitch Minecraft cake. sure you can't like in twitch do drops that are like outside of the 15 30 minute like every, the 15 minute intervals but the fact that you have to watch the stream for 15 minutes and then you get the 15 year twitch anniversary cape i just think that was a funny coincidence and i like that okay from the message perfect 40! Jesus, that is so many! I don't even know how many that is. Or like, or sorry, how many streams that is. God, that's so many. That's nuts. Is that a command? Interesting. Well, welcome in, Emily. Nice to see you. We are getting stream started right now. <laughs> We're making sure stream doesn't crash because that would be bad but stream likes to crash so we're making sure it does welcome in sugar how are you doing and in fact we actually can start now so um hello wait wrong button hello everybody i'm in the mailbox and this is connection points today is cool day today is the 15th anniversary of minecraft i believe being named minecraft and coming out with the first ever version of it, if I remember correctly, 15 years. 
I've been playing this game for eight. I got it back in February of 2016, which means I've been here a long time, literally um, longer than a half of the time that this game has been out. I've been playing it, which is just nuts. Um, so yeah, if you weren't here last stream, we did some work over here. It's a little hard to see because we can't go down there right now, but we found a skeleton spawner a few streams back and we decided to convert it into a, um, what am I calling it? What am I talking about? We decided to convert it into an abandoned uh, sewer line, an abandoned sewer system. It's going to have like a bridge hung up by chains on the, on the ceiling and there's going to be a water level and then it's going to lead into the skeleton farm and the skeleton farm is going to be next to it and it's fully automatic we can also drop down ourselves we'll have to build that in and like move around the redstone and stuff but we finished up the redstone it now works now we just have to dig it out and make it look pretty so we're going to be working on that today for anybody here that wants to claim the cape just make sure you're here for 15 minutes i believe that's what the drop is that you're just watch for 15 minutes and then it should pop up and just say hey click to claim and then you can just redeem it at minecraft.net slash redeem and just scroll all the way down until you see the switch cape so yeah i am very excited i want the cape the cape looks very pretty i actually do have the 15th anniversary one the green creeper cape and i claimed the tiktok one so out of all three capes this is the last one i need and i'm not sure if it'll give it to me from streaming or if i have to watch somebody else do it but either way I'm excited. So, how is everybody's day going? How are we feeling? I actually should take down the beacon. Yeah, we're gonna need to move that beacon over there. I haven't been in stream for a bit due to my computer being stanky. What's your computer doing? Is it being dumb? Do I gotta smack your computer? done with this and then we we'll, yeah i think i think i'll have to we'll have to i need to figure out where the uh where the sewer is going to connect into because none of my base is really super heavy or yes it it doesn't my base does not at this point lend itself to many places where you could put a sewer and there's not like giant buildings there's a couple there's a bridge there is like a wine, like a like a greenhouse wine cellar type thing, and there's a giant tree. So it's not like, oh yeah, I can put a sewer here, a hundred percent. But there is still that branch in the. I'm trying to open a link from Discord, Firefox, that I was trying to open a new instance and wouldn't let me in. That seems like a problem. <laughs> that, that does seem like a pretty big issue. Uh, did I get everything? Holy cow, my inventory is full. I forgot about the full inventory. I should take care of that. Stone. It's a stone, Luigi. Copper. Oh yeah, we're gonna be getting lots of copper and coal for mining, which is always great. I need more copper.
Let's see. Um, I guess we can just take all of our shelter boxes. Genuinely, we... Okay, we do have iron. Awesome. Fifty, fifty. That nah, doesn't work like that. To make so if I had to ask where to download from links in some weird like not back over weird obscure settings. So I'm not surprised anymore. That is strange, because that's not like I mean it is old in computer terms, but it's not like crazy old in us terms, which is strange. But you know. I suppose I should probably keep the Rubox on me. <laughs> the Rubox cube. Love that. I'll, I'll keep it in my inner chest for if I ever need it. Just in case. Oh, also, I realized at the end of last stream the reason I had moss in my inventory wasn't just because I wanted to decorate with moss. It was because I never finished the markers. I was supposed to put um, moss on the markers over here. And I didn't. So, uh, we're gonna go do that real quick. Where's my bow? Where is my raven bow? And nope, you heard me right. My, my raven bow. I'm still really proud of how that, that bridge came out. I think both of these builds, um, well, definitely different. They, do, they definitely do complement each other. It makes this whole place feel a lot more alive. Reset the PC. A clean installation. That's always a scary thing to do, to be fair. I wouldn't blame them if they haven't. <sighs> clean installations are are definitely scary to make sure that like you're getting it right and doing stuff like that. I love that tunnel. It is, it's a nice tunnel. I've, I've grown very fond of it. To be fair, that is just kind of how I feel about my whole base. The more I build in this world, the more fonder of it I become. Because I, I thought I was fond of it back in like 2021, and I was. And then I, you know, I thought I was fond of, and I was fond of it back in 2022, and I was. And but just the more that I've built, and the more that I've been able to do, the more proud I am of everything. It is. I love it. I love it so much. This world makes me very proud. Five. That's four. That's five. And that's five. That's fourteen. Fifteen. Fifteen. Twenty-one. Plus fifteen. Twenty-one plus fifteen. Twenty-one plus fifteen. Uh, thirty-six. So cozy. It is it is awesome. I love it so much. You know, it helps that I literally live in a massive tree. You can't see it. You can't see it from here because I have my render distance down for um computer not dying issues, but the fact that I just live in a 70 block tall tree is one of the coolest things that I've never done before. I have never done, and haven't done since, anything like this world before. This is a completely new experience to me. I've never done things like this before. I've built, like, similar farms, I've tried similar ideas, but this is new to me. Everything I do in here is a first. And I'm very proud of that. 
Especially because this world turns three in less than a month. Which is very cool. Alright, look at that. The moss carpets have been placed. And now, let's go check on what we did last stream. Also, yeah, widening this gap right here was a great idea. I'm also going to clear out all of the lily pads real quick inside the area, just because, you know, this is supposed to be an area you can just go through. So having lily pads kind of defeats that purpose. I do like how low, like, it's, it can be annoying, but I think it's interesting how loads just can smack into a lily pad and the lily pad's like, Nah, I'm, I'm good. And then just leaves. Just breaks. Is that all of them? I think so. And, alright. So yeah, a couple streams ago now, but it was when we first started this project. Maybe like the second stream in the middle of this project, we ended up finding a very peculiar sight. Very peculiar. I heard some skeletons came down and found a skeleton spawner, which I have now turned into the basis of a sewer. So what we're gonna do, is, as you can see, it's already working, is we're going to extend this all the way down until some stopping point. And then we're going to extend this down a little bit too and then block this off using, like, boulders and things, like like a cave-in happened. Because um, I think kind of what I'm going for this is that they were digging this out and came across this, didn't think it was a problem, or like, or like, they put caution tape around it, we're like, okay, don't go near this, but then they kept trying to go, and then eventually, um, this part of the sewer got cut off from the rest of it. So, you know, that idea also lends itself to, if we ever want to go farther this way and make like a, a tunnel that goes farther, we can. But it also means, if we don't, well then cool, we don't. And yeah, it is, it makes a lot of arrows, we have plenty of bones. For bone meal for any future um, farms and stuff very very useful and yeah it it literally just runs they go in here they drop down they burn on a campfire and then their drops get sent right back up here It honestly did not take us very long to do. It was really simple. But today, I want to I want to I want to push this back farther. You know, we have all the stone we're gonna dig it. We're gonna dig it. We're gonna we're gonna dig it. Okay. Which means I'm gonna switch this out because I, I cobblestone is always a good thing to have. We have lots of stone. We're gonna be able to switch between the two. But then if this goes, where are we going to connect it into? What kind of sewers do you have in mind? Ah. Uh, I I I have an idea. And then I want the, I want the, let me turn down the music a little bit. I want it to go for a kind of like oval, like big oval shape. Feeling like you're walking in a, a really big area that was dug out for like a major sewer line. With like a small bridge hanging from the, hanging from the ceiling of it. With only the occasional lighting. 
That's kind of the atmosphere and the mood I want to feel. I want to, I want you to feel like you're going through this big tunnel. And then with that, I want to keep, I want to keep sort of the stone. A lot of, I definitely think going darker as you go down. So just to kind of like um, have the illusion of shadows. It's definitely like having black stone and deep slate at the bottom. And then as you go to the top of the water, it goes into um, some of the lighter, like tough and stone bricks or and stone bricks and stuff and stone so that it looks like um, when it's dark, the water gets even darker. I just think that would look really cool. But what I am curious about is where it lines up. But I want it to feel like, um, I want it to be bigger than this. In all honesty, I want this to be like, I want this, I want to give off the feeling that this is big. And I don't know how much bigger I want to go than this, but I know I want to go bigger. Which means I'll probably have to shift over this because, you know, this is kind of set in stone. This wall right here is chilling. And we can always change, like, how big this wall is. It can go down to three or two. I can always change that. But I do want this to be a lot bigger. I want it to feel like you're surrounded. Like, you couldn't just reach out and touch the walls if you tried hard enough. Like... Maybe... Maybe this length? I mean, even still, that looks way too close. Like, that. Yeah. That on both sides. Breathe and. I actually will take a breath. I get very out of breath when I talk, because I, I either forget to breathe, or I just don't think about it. I think that's the same thing, actually. Never mind. I should actually take that hydrate there. Thank you. I'm curious about something. So if I, if I line this up, right? 797. Because I think what could be cool is if this lined up directly with the the tree, the tree of time. Because there's a there's a bridge down there. There is a tunnel that leads directly underneath it. If I go down here, yeah, right here. Requesting it to be. I, that just did it. <laughs> like, like I like I literally just did it. And while I do think that would be cool, I think that's way too far over. And I honestly need to just sit down and figure out what my idea was for that. Because I know I figured it out. In fact, it was probably when I was building this door that I figured out what was going to go there. Because I don't remember anymore. It also might have been the end of last year. But, either way, I do want it to connect somewhere. Like, maybe at the bottom of this water, if it's deep enough, have like a little sewer grate that you drop into. And it leads to this big tunnel. I think that could be really fascinating. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four. So 
so it would be like this. And then just like a singular path right there. Everybody time to sleep. Alright, good night, Neko. Thank you so much for joining. Um, if you didn't already have the cape, I hope you got it. I hope that was enough time for it. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that's eight. Okay. So all of this is one side. Who this is going to be a brick project. But I do... I do want it to have the feeling that I'm going for. So it's worth it. It's worth it. I am not coping. Trust me. Trust me. I, I know what I'm doing. 100%. I definitely know what I'm doing. At this rate, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna be digging out so much. I think I'm gonna to have to put other farms and stuff down here because it's going to be a massive tunnel. Like one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. I think I'm. I have to now put farms down here because, like. Look at look at the look at the space that is about to come out of this thing. It is not going to be small. Um okay. So at this level, we're right there. dig out a small section of it. Is that, a, is that a water cave? That is a water cave. Gotta love the water cave. Or, no, that's, that's just a cave. It's no water involved, just a cave. This cave is about to get a very rude awakening. probably would be a good idea to set up the beacon above here and then just move it when I start digging out the rest of the space. So that this way I can expand right around here and not have any issues. Thank you. Alright. And then one for haste. Thank you.
quick eating moment. Our foundations are pure gold here. This might be my favorite way of putting it together, ever. I, I like this um, together. Paste. Thank you. And this should give us plenty of um, room to just uh, go ham. That is okay. I did plan on taking a bunch of this out anyways and redoing this terrain, so that is okay. I am okay with that. So we dug out all of that. Then we dig do that, and we do it again. Bam. Then we'll put one there. So then how does that feel? Right, let me put down a shulker so we can contain some of these items. Water that was very mean to hold me. Alright. So with it like this, this definitely gives more of the feeling that I want. But I think it needs to be also bigger. I mean here, let's let's finish digging it out. And we dig. 
Oops. Oh, hey, Kevin. My cat Kevin is here. Everybody say hi. I'll take you in a second. Fifteen stream streak. That's nuts, Rogue. Thank you so much. Fifteen is crazy. I... Like, I mean, I'm not one who should be talking. I have, like... 36 or 37 end canes right now, which is a lot. But still, it's just like 15 straight streams of mine that you've come to in a row. That's a lot of them. I appreciate it very much. Thank you very much, Rogue. Cool, yeah, I don't want to deal with this water. So we're just gonna patch it one block higher. Swim in the water until it disappears. Ooh. There it goes. I have 72 imprints. That's n that is so many. Though actually, I would actually that does make sense. I think yeah. The only reason I I think I was actually around 30 when I lost my streak. So putting them together, yeah, I can see how you would do that. That is a long time though. Cause like I had that streak from. Maybe a few weeks after they introduced it. Somewhere around in like... I don't even know how long. But it was a long time. So that is... 72 is nuts. So this is the full extent of it. Uh, yeah, I, never mind. I, I think that's going to give me exactly the feeling I was hoping for. I think this is what I was looking for. I think I just needed to um, fully experience what it meant to dig it out. Making, I'm making a giant, like, one of those industrial sewer tunnels. All of this is just so that I can have the skeleton farm be like a wall window in a massive, um, it, I want it to look like a, a sewer tunnel that like either was in um was in use or is out of use now like yeah like it used to be in loose but then like one side got caved in so it's like an old an old industrial sewer pipe so you can you know you have the water level probably like up to there then you walk over this bridge which is just over the water and it's like ooh, yeah that's my best expression i want it to feel big and open which this is exactly what I was hoping for. Doubling it was the right idea. Now what I need to do is take that. Um, perfect, that'll be perfect height. Yeah, I want it to feel big, I want it to feel open, I want it to feel like it has since been abandoned because of almost like it was unearthed like for whatever reason this was built before we got here maybe 
Maybe maybe that's the story I want to go with. It was kept in really nice condition, but it's it's dark. It's it's um it's shadowy. The water has been here a long time. And you can see like pieces of how it got here, but not you know like what was here before I was here. I don't know. I'm coming up with this idea on the spot. Which, you know, is kind of my whole style. Uh, that definitely adds way more to it. We're doing that on the bottom, too. And I have my trusty beacon here to help me dig everything out. I am digging too much out. So then we have something that looks like this. Look at that. I think I am definitely going to add other farms down here. Because it just makes sense, right? If I'm building a tunnel this big, I have to not just use it for a skeleton spawner. A skeleton farm. Well, I mean, I guess it could justify this. But it feels a little weird. I, I definitely will have to figure out some farms. I can put like the kelp farm down here probably. Like put it like off in the corner right there. Have little like side bridges going off. Actually, what's the Y level? 47? Give me a second. Curious. Slime. Slime's one. My slimes are gray because I like that color actually. Vanilla tweaks. Uh, coolest thing ever. Making slimes any of the 16 colors. Or, well, you can change it to any of the 15 colors. The default is just, you know, lime. Nobody would have guessed that, though. There we go. I can't have it. This definitely seems a lot deeper. This is 23. Okay, never mind. We do have glow squids. All right, let's 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 chill with the glow squids for a little bit. We may be underwater, but these glow squids were friends. They prov they they make really nice ambience. How am I doing airwise? Oh, I'm doing fine. We can chill here. We can just have a great time. You know, if you could vibe with a with a glow squid, would you? I am slowly drowning, but this is awesome. Oh, there is a block of air up here. Forget about that. We And now we have more glowing sets. Yes, but I have to keep them from dying. True! You could probably find glow squids and, like, put them in a tank. Those would actually look really pretty. Especially if you had something like Optifine or Shaders or, like, a lighting engine. That would look so pretty. Because they do actually um, light up the area with Optifine. I really like it. And there's probably alternatives out there. Oh. Um, now slime balls. Right, four box cube. I summon you. Awesome. We're doing pretty well on slime balls, all things considered.
Actually, I was gonna say it would probably be hard to get a glow squids in a in a, a tank, but honestly, it probably wouldn't actually be that difficult as long as you had some way of uh, leading them. I think you can lead them. I'd be surprised if you couldn't. All right, now this seems like a great stopping point just for me. I need to feed my dogs and actually make some dinner. So, in the meantime, I'm going to be. I'm going to uh, go AFK. I'm going to pause the game. You all saw it. I'm going to go switch over to the be right back screen, and I should be back in ten or so minutes. I'm wishing everybody a lovely, lovely break and stream. And yeah, I shall be back in a few.
Hello, I am back. Um, it appears stream has just stopped. I don't know why it did that. But, sorry about that. I even looped- I even double-checked to make sure that I looped the music when I left. But it let- it skipped the music anyways. I don't know why it did that. I apologize. People aren't getting the capes until early July, but are available now for Bedrock. I did hear about that. It was mixed from what I heard. Like, people couldn't tell. I know the TikTok cape is coming in around early July. Um, the, the 15th anniversary creeper cape, the green one, that one you could redeem right now. And the Twitch cape, <laughs> I can't tell. Oh, wait, you probably just got it. That's what you're talking about. Holy cow. Did stream... Did have, Has stream just been without music for the last, like, ten minutes? Well, I do apologize. I thought it would have been okay to leave. This is dumb. Oh gosh, now I have to try and handle it switching back. Let's see if this works. Okay, we're back. And music's kicking in. I think I think I think it's okay. I think it's I think it's doing okay. Which is good. Okay. Let's get started back again. Alright. So let's continue building. Or let's continue digging, actually. So we need to dig in this direction. actually should give us a better view of what it's gonna look like at its um, when it's full or when it's more dug out which you know makes sense all right then we ow <laughs> too far we'll drop to another level and go out three blocks does look pretty cool. I'm very happy with it, how this is looking. Thank you. 
go. Yeah, it makes sense the the cape drops won't be coming out until later, because I know the the twitch cape you can get it all the way through like June first, so it would make sense that, or I guess it could be implied fairly decently that that's why they're doing it like that. Oh, uh, that box is just also full of stuff. Interesting. But now this box is full of stuff, because I said so. of it. It just so happens to be this size that we need. It is actually impressive how right on the line it is. holes was a good day's work. Yeah, this is going to give me the vibe that I want. But holy cow. I seem to just have a straight up fascination with doing projects that are much bigger than I really should be doing. And yet I find myself doing them anyways. 
it's an interesting dichotomy of, hey, I want to rebuild my treehouse base. Cool. I'm going to make it 70 blocks tall. And also use basically the equivalent of a birch forest to build it. And then I'm like, ooh, I want to um, make make a cool tunnel to the skeleton farm. Yeah, cool. I'll just um, I'll just chuck in uh, an industrial gate grade sewer line. Yeah, that 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 makes sense. This will definitely not take a long time. Jade, welcome in. How you doing? I am going over the interesting dichotomy I appear to have with doing literally anything where I'm just like, yep, I want to build this thing. And then I proceed to decide to agree with myself that I'm going to make, you know, just for a skeleton spawner, I'm going to make an industrial grade sewer line. And I am now reasoning with myself that, uh, yes, I am going to use it for other, th like, other farms need to be in this project because I am not going to dig all of this out and then retexture it for funsies. <laughs> and this is going to take a long time, and I should uh, definitely be using it for other things. But how are you doing today? I see. <laughs> I, I see you're uh, you're feeling quite well today. Thank you so much for the five gifted. I'm gonna go look at those, right? Good. How about you? All right. Let's see. Who who <laughs> who is the lucky one today? Let's see. So, um, sugar got a gifted. Iris got a gifted. Protagonist, Will, and, um, and hello. If any of you are here and have a chance, please feel free to send a little thank you Jade's way. That was very nice of her. Good, how about you? I'm doing well. I am, you know, questioning my decisions more, a little bit more every day, but... I think this will look really cool. And I mean, hey, you've seen me build a sewer. You've seen me build a sewer system for, you know, around about a year. And I have just, I've, I've apparently elected to do it again. We're also on level two hype train, which is a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, cool. Just, uh, just block it off for now. Ah, okay. Cannot reach that right now. You always start these bigger projects, but you always finish them, they look awesome. I... I don't think there's anything wrong with not finishing a project. I mean, it happens all the time. I've done it plenty of times where I've started something and then never really got it to completion. But there's something so just magical about starting a project that you're like, there's no way I'm gonna do. And you stick through it, and then you come out with something you could have only dreamed of. Like this, this is exactly the feeling I wanted to give. Um, and I'm like, man, 
this is gonna be a lot of work. But I also know it's going to be worth it. It's kind of like my um, gaming playthroughs on Wednesdays. It's, it's such a unique thing that in saying, yep, I'm committing myself to doing this um, primarily only on stream, I have in turn given myself an incentive to do it and finish it. And it is so cool to finish a project. For those of you that don't know, Jade and I are actually um, share a Minecraft world that we play on with some of our friends. And I basically spent the last year building a like a, a giant interconnected sewer system between all of the um, all of our bases and shops and builds and stuff. And this is completely different. Like, um, this is exactly the feeling I was going for this is the perfect size and then imagine you know we make this like we make chains coming up um along the pathway like it's being held up against the ceiling and then you know the water level goes up to maybe just like one below the um, like right here i think that would look so cool so then it's like you're walking over the water the chains being held up this is perfect and it just continues on Yes. But also something special about the, the world that we share is I something I've been we've been talking a lot about recently. Since we're planning on moving over soon. In fact, in um ten days we're moving over. Something I've been doing in the last what is it, like last couple months is finishing old projects projects some projects that i said i would definitely do and then didn't do for gosh like eight months ten months a year also we all got or we got a level one hype train emotes i that one's really cute i love that nice it is nice yeah welcome in welcome in you have been granted sub oh that you the, the level one hype train emote is really cute. I, I'm i surprised I don't already have that one, but I will happily take it. That is now the seventh hype train emote we've unlocked. That one's really cute, actually. But something I've been doing is finishing up old projects in that world since we're planning on moving over. And it is such a unique experience to have a world go on long enough to actually allow you to finish projects that, you know, and otherwise in a, like a shorter world, maybe, you wouldn't have done. There were plenty of projects like there was a valley, there's a valley next to my house that I basically, I, I touched it once, you know, kind of touched it up, had an idea, didn't fully execute it, thought it looked really bad, and then basically just gave up on it. And I did that for, I did that like back in February of last year. And then at, in like December, literally 10 months later, I finally decided to do something about it and go back. And I made it look incredible. I think I actually talked about this last stream too. And then there was a there was a giant second area outside of our main area where I planned on building a whole bunch of flower farms and pathways. Um, and even more recently making like a storage room for all of the flowers. And I just started it. I built like maybe one flower farm. And then that was it. Okay. 
and then I just left it there for over a year and only recently I've come back to it and decided that I do want to finish it. I I have a tendency to have ideas, you know, as we're standing a giant industrial grade sewer system, you know, I tend to have a lot of ideas and well, something I've been told recently is that they're good. That despite how, how big they might seem, I, I seem to have a knack for making them turn out really well. Too much stuff. I do do a lot. I was told recently that I I do a good job with them. And even by Jade now, just it means a lot. I'm glad that people enjoy the things that I do. Cause I enjoy them. And it it's nice to know that it's not just me. That I can go and decide to make a giant, giant sewer system, primarily just for a skeleton farm, that I will probably expand and have other farms in there. It it's nice to know that <laughs> the people that the people who watch also like it. It's a good feeling. To know that not only do you know people like it, do, that you know they're enjoying it, but that I enjoy it too. It's one of the reasons I did so many big projects last year. Uh, you know, like rebuilding my base and making a storage room and getting some some like basic farms set up and redoing my um, my crop farms. It's because I wanted to give myself the space to do these big projects. Because I was always doing them. Let's be honest. I spent like over a year building a trading hall. And that was like the biggest thing I had ever done. And then I followed it up quickly with a 70 block tall um, willow tree. Because I wanted to test my limits. How crazy am I? But... Now I have a really cool base. And a lot of people like it. I love it. Like, a lot of people love it. I love it. It's incredible. And I'm glad that you do. It truly means a lot to me. Because, you know, this is, at the end of the day, this is my favorite game. Like, of all time. If, you know, when, when I can't figure out anything else to play, I'm usually playing Minecraft. If I'm interacting with my friends, like, 70, maybe 75% of the time, it's usually in Minecraft. Or talking something related to Minecraft. I do it a lot, because I care a lot about this game, and it just makes me happy that everyone here does too. Like, at the end of the day, yes, it is my community, but it's nice to know that you all enjoy that. That you all enjoy what I do. That you... <sighs> that the community I've built enjoys seeing what I make. 
even if you know only for a couple hours every week. It's, I mean, it's really humbling, but it's also just, it means a lot. So genuinely, <laughs> thank you. Thank you to everybody who, you know, pops into streams every once in a while, or, you know, the regulars who show up, you know, without fail most streams. Thank you. I may, you know, either way have still have done a lot of this stuff, but it is a little bit more special knowing that I can share it out to everybody else and that you all enjoy it. Because I like sharing what I do. I like making things for other people. I like taking, you know, what I get and making something out of it. And then, you know, being able to share that process, that work, whatever it is. Your ideas may be crazy, they are what make everything you do special. Yeah, I mean, if anybody would know, it'd be you. You've seen my ideas play out for, what, four years now? just incredible. That I can I can do things like this that you all are willing to, you know, sit through me like leaving for lunch or taking care of my animals or, you know, just talking with everybody in chat or just just checking in every once in a while. There is no better feeling than seeing somebody pop into chat and realize, hey, I know that person. I, I recognize them. They were in, you know, a stream a couple, a little bit ago. Or, hey, that's one of my friends, or... Yeah, that's someone very close to me. There is genuinely no better feeling than being able to recognize the names that pop up. <laughs> to know that know that I've stuck with somebody just a little bit stronger than a passerby, a wanderer. That they've become more than just a wanderer here. They've become a part of the group. You know, somebody somebody that can be remembered here. <laughs> I place, uh, you know, if you've, if you've been here uh, for any amount of time, you know, I place a lot of weight in, um, in like feelings and emotions and like how things are perceived. It means a lot to me. I have grown up playing this game. And in turn, the game has grown up with me. The people I played with have grown up 
I've seen people come into my life and leave. And just all along that journey I've had this game and the memories that are stored within it. Within its worlds, within the screenshots, within the the voice calls, the the little inside jokes, the memories. There's so much that can be tied back into the eight years that I've been playing this game. And so I hold a lot of weight to that. Which is why I play it. Because if I can bring a memory like that to somebody else, if I, even as a streamer, even with a huge separation between me and most of the people watching, I will never know you, you will never know me, but if even for a moment of one day at any point during any of thy streams, just once, I can give somebody a memory that they will cherish for a long time, then I will have done what I set out to do. Because people deserve to remember, to be remembered. And I'll stand by that. People deserve to make it through hardships to build a better world piece by piece and be treated better people deserve a lot of things and if even just for a moment i can give somebody that be happy. Because hey, I've I've gotten more than you think out of this. I've gotten years of, of memories and, and streams and funny moments and videos. All things that I've wanted to do for a long time. I've gotten so much out of this. And I hope you have too. Even if only briefly. I hope I give you something as well. None of this is, is new to any long-time watchers. I go into one of these d deeply emotional rants at least once a month now. But I, I, tr I truly try to mean everything that I say. At the end of the day, this is a game about blocks, about, you know, picking them up, placing them down, mining and crafting. That's all it is. But within that, 
you have a game about storytelling, about books and memories and images and videos of important moments or silly moments or heartbreaking moments or moments you'll never forget. Minecraft is, if anything, a starting point to something much stronger. It is a way to tell stories that I don't know if a lot of other games are able to do. And don't get me wrong, I love games that have a story to them. I think this also could just be a reflection of like sandbox games in general that you know if you have a world you can craft and create to who you are inevitably it's going to become a part of you and you know no game represents that better than minecraft you know you take your own creativity your ideas your inspirations you, your friends, your your memories, and you pour them into your worlds. Are you a builder? Are you a miner? Are you an adventurer? Are you an explorer? Are you a creative designer? Are you an artist? Are you an animator? There's so many ways you can use this one game and then in that you create something that's just gorgeous have you seen like sit like just real quick has anybody seen some of the animatics in the animations that people have created off of things like hermitcraft or any of the smbs or any of the um like groups that pop up just by playing this game, they are breathtaking. Like, how do you turn a game that is fundamentally about digging and crafting blocks into something that you could, like, hang up on your wall and you're like, yeah, that's, like, the best thing of the century. How do you do that? It boggles my mind, and I've been a part of that. I draw art of this game when I can. I am constantly either writing a book or building something or talking about my experiences or holding tight to my memories or making something special. I'm part of that. And I just, how, do, how does it do that? How does a game about cubes Comes so deeply emotional to me. It blows my mind every single day that I can get to the end of a long term world that I've been playing on for over a year. And it makes me sad and it makes me cry that I can look back at old memories with friends and just feel like I lived a life in here. How do you do that? How did they do that? It it never fails to amaze me. How deeply I feel about this game. It never ceases to surprise me with how incredibly deep and how, how deeply you can put yourself and your experiences in this game into something just gorgeous it blows my mind and i'm all the happier for it
actually jade wrote a really really lovely comment and i want to read it out i haven't read it yet it has been so amazing to watch you grow over the years whether it's on stream or in a call i have loved meeting you learning about you knowing you living and existing with you all of it and being in your life even if just for another good morning means so much more than you know this game brought brought us along with many many others together and that is my favorite memory it's it's true i have made friends through this game i would have met them outside you know we we met whether in person or in a group in a server you know over the internet there's a whole so many ways you can meet people but because of how you know tied to this game i am i end up making a lot of friendships through it they become stronger than i ever thought they could be just from just just from this game the way that this game can bring so much emotional complexity to everything you do. It will always be worth that. The way you can just feel for other people, for the world, for this game is incredible. It's not always easy to feel, but sometimes it's beautiful. And I hope that through these streams, through the time that I've gotten to bring people in across the internet, the wanderers of the vast sky. I hope I've done that for people. I hope that at some point I'm able to see how my stuff has changed people. And to be fair, I have seen some of that. <laughs> Usually it's just through my friends. being able to take what I love, which is making and creating videos and art and streams and being creative in so many ways and turning that into, you know, a source of income, into a way to spread what I like to do out to other people, a way to share that with other people. It's, it makes me feel like the luckiest person alive. So hey. Thank you. Very much especially thank you to you, Jade. I know we'll probably be talking shortly anyways, but... I have more words than I know what to do with for you and the people that I know. And being able to share them some of those through, you know, swinging a pickaxe or killing a zombie is... something I hope I never take for granted. Because you know what? People matter. People matter a lot. Care about people. Trust people. Take care of yourself. Take care of your friends. Take care of your family. Be good. 
find what good means to you and try and do that. Just be you. At the end of the day, just be you. Because, hey, I wouldn't trade a lifetime of something else for a moment like this. For all the people that I've brought together, for all the followers that have stuck with me for, what, three and a half years now? Every single moment is worth more than a lifetime where I didn't do this. And that makes me feel like the luckiest girl alive. Thank you all for watching me. Thank you all for taking a chance on just a little cat girl on the internet and giving me a shot. It means more than you will ever know to have people coming in and saying hi, talking with each other, having fun, talking with me. It is a feeling like no other. And I hope you know that For as much as I do this because I enjoy it, and for as much as I want to give some good, positive feelings for you in your days, you give me so much of it. You give me so, so much more than you know. And I will never be able to thank you enough for just being here for spending some of your time, your day, with me. Thank you. Genuinely. <laughs> thank you. And I think with that, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna end. I don't think I've missed anything. I think I've said everything I've wanted to. As much as I know how to, I have spoken. And I hope some of that spoke to you. And if it didn't, that's okay. We're all people. We're all human. At the end of the day, we all live in the same place, so we might as well make it a good one. So, because Kane is still alive, and, you know, because he's awesome, I'm gonna raid you guys out into somebody that has changed my life for the better. Somebody that I am deep fee deeply um, grateful for, for just existing and being awesome. And I hope all of you have a great time over there. So as always, I have been Min's the Mailbox, and just be you. There is nothing more special than bringing what makes you special into the world the world becomes a better place when we're all allowed to be ourselves. And we all deserve that. So go 
out into the world and just be you. I'm proud of you. You got this. So I've been into the mailbox and I will see you next time. <laughs> Dang it, an ass. That's great. I think I have to wait for the end to be over now. <laughs> We're stuck here. The rate counter is also counting down really slowly. And 